we need to bridge a big void, a big gap that we have. After a state police chase in the city of Flint left a family mourning the death of their loved one who was just caught in the middle, local pastors are reaching out to police. And that is right now that the state patrol is like us against them. Jacqueline Nichols was killed when a trooper crashed into her vehicle while chasing a suspect near Pearson Road and North Street in Flint on July 3rd. By no means did, did we have any intention of this occurring, but uh, with the risks that we take on a daily basis, this happens and we feel for these families. In the wake of the crash, the Michigan State Police says it's reviewing its policies and trying to work more closely with the community. This unfortunate uh, incident has set us back, but we will continue to move forward and drop the crime rates and make this city a better place to live. The resources that we have now at uh, our disposal to assist us in our policing efforts have really made a difference, and we want to continue and broaden that. But at the same time, we want to be sensitive to the issues within the community. Pastors say meeting with police and local leaders is just one step in the process, and it will take the community to make a real change. It was good for us to hear from the state police that their main objective is the security and the safety of the people of Flint.